Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm bringing you a build order for the Holy Roman Empire. This one's actually going to be a fast Imperial build order and we're going to be hitting the Imperial Age at around 11 and a half minutes. So the first thing we need to do with this one is to create the prelate from the town center. So your starting villages are just going to go on sheep. We're going to leave them there. Uh, quite often you see a variation of this where they'll have five on the sheep and then they'll send one over to gold. I just prefer to do it this way. Uh, I think it's a little bit less uh, fiddly perhaps than the others and it doesn't really seem to make much difference if I'm totally honest. Um, so uh, once you've got the prelate out, the next uh, five villages are going to go over to the gold. I'm going to speed it up a little bit and put it on two times speed. And the first village is going to make a house and then make the uh, mining camp there. Uh, at this point, I think it's quite important to go around and keep your scouting with your scout. Try and get as many sheep as you can. And um, you know, drop them off on the, the side of the town centre where your gold is going to be. So that your prelate can just quite easily just switch from between the food and the gold. Uh, villagers giving them their all important buff. There we go, Look, we're going to drop those sheep off there. So, yeah, it's a really, really fast one. Uh, what we actually do with this one is we do make a stable in the feudal age and we get some um, horsemen just to, for a little bit of defense. Uh, really important, you can do it without doing that, um, but I think it's really, really important because at least then you've got a bit of protection for when you're getting your uh, prelates out trying to get the relics in the castle age so uh, once we've got those five on the gold we're sending two over to wood and then we should be able to uh, click up start making the uh, Arkham chapel we've taken two from food and we'll take two from gold and start making that and from this point we're going to add another five onto wood uh, that's just so we're going to uh, have enough wood to get professional scouts we're going to be able to get the stables down fairly quickly and eventually we'll be able to get a market as well because we will need a market because we will be doing a little bit of uh, wheeler dealing uh, a little bit of buying and selling um, halfway through pretty much uh, a bit going up to the feudal age take one from the uh, landmark builders and take them over to make a mill and then once they made the mill that bit of builder is just going to go back to food and then those three builders from landmark they're just going to go over to wood as well so we'll end up with a total of 10 on wood but as soon as Feudal Age comes in, we want to be researching the uh, professional scouts. Obviously, chuck your prowler into the Arkham Chapel. There we go. Professional scouts is on its way in. As soon as you've got 150 wood, just take four of those off and make a stable. And uh, at this point onwards, it's just a case of all new villages. Once you've got those uh, seven uh, plus the three builders on wood, uh, just send them all to food. Uh, those four builders from, who built the stable going over to food. We're making two scouts, uh, just so we've got a decent number of scouts for uh, getting in the uh, the deer. And when you can, make a market with three villagers, and they're going to go over to gold. Uh, so you'll just be left with three on wood. That's all you need at this point. And uh, we're just going to be sending three villagers onto food, and all well, essentially all your new villagers are going to be onto food. Uh, but there we go, we're going to start getting those deer in. So it's quite important that we do that uh, because uh, it's just going to keep your villagers safe rather than being on the barriers and being exposed. So uh, yeah, pro scouts is really quite important. As you can see, we're starting to get some horsemen now. We'll probably make about six of them. And you can see we've got those uh, villages up here now. Um, what you might need to do in the game um, against multi uh, a, a real person is perhaps put a tower down here just to protect your gold villages. Just in case you get rushed, but you know, your food villages should be fairly uh, safe and secure. Um, arguably, you, you wood villages as well, but your gold villages is perhaps a little bit exposed. And uh, yeah, as I say, we're, we're just making some horsemen and uh, keep getting in those deer and all the new villages on to food. Uh, use your market a little bit if you can, as you can see, we are doing it there uh, just to buy your way up. And then once you've done that, perhaps send about eight or ten villages. Uh, over to make the Red Nitch uh, Cathedral and then as soon as that started to be made uh, do get some prelates, I was a little bit late on uh, making those actually uh, but do get some prelates and start sending them out to the uh, to the relics just so that they're in position ready for um, as soon as you hit the castle age uh, so this is where your horsemen will come in uh, useful if they've not already done so um, you'll be able to uh, send them out with your prelate just to offer a bit of protection uh, go into those uh, relic sites because uh, no doubt your opponent will be camping on there 
so you will want a little bit of protection. Um, once you've hit the uh, castles, you can start going into night production at this point. You should be able to keep maintaining uh, night production from one stable. A little bit late in making them there, but uh, you should be absolutely fine in doing so. And uh, still the same old situation really, just keep sending villagers on to food. And you will find that as soon as you've gotten the relics in your uh Cathedral, you should be able to uh, quite easily get the, the gold that you need, uh, even with the night production. So as you can see, we've got some knights queued up there now. Still got those horsemen, it is against the intermediate AI, so what do you expect? Um, but um, you do have those options, so of, uh, of getting a bit of a defense going as well. So again, use your market if you need to. Uh, I've just sent another one over to gold at that point, but uh, once, you, once you've clicked, uh, once you've done that, you should be able to click up. Um, send probably around 15 to 18 villagers to make the palace as well. We'll be using 17 here. And uh, just keep on making night production, get some more stables down, start getting all your eco upgrades at this point. So wheelbarrow, wood upgrades, uh, they'll all start coming in now. While we're advancing, and then there you go. About 11 and a half minutes just over, and we're in the Imperial Age. And at this point, it's just a case of get your economy uh, fully up and running. Uh, spamming all the villagers out of the palace as well, we can keep getting those uh, knights spamming out there as well. Get your knight upgrade for the uh, elite knights and uh, just wreak havoc essentially. But that's it for this one, guys. I uh, hope you find this one useful, it certainly seems to be uh, quite a good one. And I shall see you on the next video.